What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ken's Ghetto Kitchen. I'm very tired today, so I've, I've got some coffee here with me, even though it's dinner time. Uh, I've only been awake for a short period of time, thanks to my real job, so smash that thumbs up button if you just, you know, can't get enough of your own time, because your, your real job is just, has really weird meetings at 6 a.m. on Sundays. But anyway, we're gonna do a basic meatloaf today. <laughs> I'm gonna do a very basic meatloaf again. Hit that hit that thumbs up button if you like meatloaf. Um, I've got gloves here. Uh, you don't have to use these. These are optional. I'm gonna use them today because I don't like the way beef uh, feels on my hands. But anyway, I'm gonna go over the ingredients real quick. Uh, you're gonna need some breadcrumbs. It doesn't have to be Italian style. It could just be basic um, breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use some minced garlic. I've got minced onion here as well. Um, this is what I'm going to use. But well, you can also use like fresh onion, fresh chopped onion. You can put peppers in there as well. You could put anything you want in the meatloaf that's like a cool veggie or whatever. But you don't. I'm not going to use these today. This is just to show you guys that you can use this. There is also something called a Lipton onion soup mix, which is surprisingly good inside of a meatloaf. So like if you mix the packet of the soup mix into the meatloaf, it, it comes out so good. I'm not doing that today either. I'm just going to go with the minced onion because I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. Um, I usually use one egg per pound of beef. I've got three and a half pounds, so I'm gonna try not to use four eggs, but I might have to. I'm gonna use three. And for the sauce, I'm just gonna use ketchup and brown sugar. I'll show you how to make that in a little bit. But first, let's start mixing all these crazy ingredients in. Um, make sure your oven is preheating to 375 while you're doing this. This is gonna get messy. This is gonna get really messy. I'm not looking forward to this. All right, so I'm, I'm not using a loaf pan either. I'm just gonna use like a basic flat baking sheet because the loaf pan's overrated. You'll see what I mean. It's still gonna turn out just as good. But I have my pan there. I am gonna grease the pan real quick and um, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I'll, I'm just gonna grease my pan. All right, so step one for me is gonna be to put these gloves on. These gloves were bought so that Marissa could dye her hair. And here I am using them for food prep. These are not food prep gloves, by the way, so I know. Go ahead and hate on me in the comments. It's all good. I don't like the feel of those gloves. They're all like loose and oh, that's weird. They're just weird. Open up your beef here. Get it out of the package. Make sure you don't get any plastic inside your beef. I hope it's not still frozen. This has been thawing for like, what, three days? It's cold in our house. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so if I could bake it just like this, I would, because that would be the basic meatloaf, but I'm not gonna do that. That'd be terrible. All right, there we go. Mmm, mmm, yeah, mmm. Get in there, mmm. Aw, I should've got more gloves. Crack your egg carefully. Don't get shell in the meatloaf. It's nasty. I'm sure somewhere in the world right now someone's going, why doesn't he have a mixer? Why is he doing it by hand? Because I'm cheap. You know how much mixers cost? Have you seen the prices of mixers? You want me to get a mixer? You better head over to paypal.me slash Providence and donate me some money. I can't afford that shit. Um, all right, so, all right. You just kind of squish it all together, you know? Just like this. The egg is to help bind it. That sound is beautiful. It means you're doing your, your job. Once you get your egg pretty much well mixed in there, the next thing you want to add is your breadcrumbs and your and your onions and garlic. I'm gonna do that without these gloves on. You don't overdo it with the garlic either, because that's like it's a bad idea. You don't want it to just be like a, a overpowering garlic taste in your meatloaf. The onions, on the other hand, it don't matter. Just go crazy with them. Ain't gonna taste them anyway, right? 
Yeah, you will. And you'll love it. Even if you hate onions. Basically, what you want to just keep in the back of your mind is this is just a giant meatball. That's all it is. It's just one big giant meatball. You don't have to use just beef. Like you can add sausage, like ground sausage, ground turkey. You know, you can have all types of meat in here. You could put pepperoni in this damn thing. You add crushed bacon. Once you're at this level where it's just like the basics, it's it's still gonna be good. But there are so many possibilities. So many. I'm gonna need so many more breadcrumbs in here. I'm sure there's an actual like measurement of breadcrumbs that you should be using, but I just kinda just kind of eyeball it you know kind of based on how the, the meat feels because all it's doing is uh, its purpose is to just kind of bind it together so you can just make one one piece and I think we've I think we've accomplished that It. Well, yeah, you actually, it, it's, well, you don't have to, but it's, it helps to really keep it together. Because what it does is it compresses the meat. It should look like a brain at some point, you know? And just think of all the bloody meat particles flying around the kitchen right now. The dog is gonna love it. Now, if you're not using a loaf pan, uh, you don't wanna make it too big. You don't wanna have it like too high, because then it's not gonna cook in the middle. And you don't wanna have it like too skinny on the ends, because then the ends are gonna get burnt and you're not gonna have a, a very evenly cooked meatloaf. So you kinda wanna like put it in the form of a football, but like more of a, more of a blunt end. Kind of like this. Yeah, this looks pretty good. A meatloaf of this size is going to crack as it cooks. I mean, it's it's just how it's going to be. There's no real stopping it at this point. But this is the size you want. This is this is pretty much what we got to work with. And uh, I'm I'm fairly happy with this meatloaf here. Yeah, I think I think this is what we're going with. So I'm going to put this in my pan, and I'm going to shove this in the oven for about an hour, uh, maybe longer. I'll have to take a look at it. And when it's almost done, I will coat it with the, with the sauce. Well, it's just ketchup and brown sugar. Yeah, let me throw this in the pan. What about the other egg? Didn't need them. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy. <laughs> this is probably gonna feed us all fucking week. Um, uh, yeah, let's. This is huge. You see yeah, this? I know. We don't have an audience today, so it's literally just for us. I'll make all the noises. Ooh, wow. You can make good burgers with this. Slap some cheese on top of it. Yeah. Just make the sauce really quick so you guys can see how it's made. It's very simple. You just pour ketchup into a bowl and mix brown sugar with it. You can add barbecue sauce too. We're not gonna do that.
maybe show how much ketchup you have in there? Just enough to coat the entire meatloaf. It's about a quarter cup. You can use a lot more than that. You don't have to limit that unless you have some type of salt problem. But the cool thing is, if you are on a low sodium diet, um, they have uh, sodium, low sodium ketchup. Heinz makes it, it is, it, it tastes great. It tastes almost the same. All right, so you don't wanna overdo it with your brown sugar. You just put like a pinch or two in because it sweetens this up really quickly. And then the rest of the brown sugar can just kind of get thrown out. No. Give make a cookie or something. It can given. It can be given to Franklin. The llama with the hat. I'm just gonna stir it with a fork till it's all mixed in. And there's only one, 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 real, one real way to know that it's it's done properly. Has to taste it, and it should taste like ketchup with brown sugar. All right, so we're just gonna keep this cool. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it chill. And then I'm gonna put my ingredients away. So I'll come back when the meatloaf is done and I will show you how to apply this and then, you know, I gotta need more coffee. All right guys, so we're back now. This is about 40 minutes into the bake. It's not done yet, it's almost done. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the fat has baked out of it, which is good because nobody likes a lot of fat. But right now, we're just going to top it with the, um, with the with the sauce, which is basically just ketchup and brown sugar. Um, I just like to kind of, you know, spread it on. Just kind of spread it. This works better in a loaf pan. Um, but, you know, it still has the same effect. You're basically just basting it in ketchup and brown sugar. And once you're done doing that, you pop it back in. You let it cook for the remainder of the time, which should be about 15 minutes. And then it's good to eat. So, try to use all your, all your ketchup too. It also helps to prevent the outside from getting charred. Um, if you're baking it at a high temperature and trying to get it done quickly, I don't recommend that. I recommend cooking it at 375. So it's gonna go back in the oven now for 15 more minutes, maybe 20, and we'll be good. And we'll be ready to eat it. Even though I wanna eat it now. All right guys, this is the best part of this video right here. It's like the most awesome Part of the video. I want to go to sleep. All right, let's let's look at this meatloaf. Anyway, so this is what your meatloaf is gonna look like after your fire alarm goes off for no reason. I'm gonna cut into it. I want to see what it looks like in the middle because if it's um if it's not fully cooked all the way through, it's uh, it's probably gonna scare some people off. So let's cut into it. Oh, oh I'm just making some fart noises. Yeah, that's definitely done, and that looks amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that looks good. Alright, so, put that back together. I don't want all the juices leaking out. Alright, so I guess I'll, I'll do a nice little taste test right now for you guys. I love meatloaf. This is so good. Mm. 
Ah, oh, voilà. If you like the video, give it a, a nice thumbs up. If you like meatloaf, hit subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next week. If you like dogs drinking water, hit that notification bell. Yeah, if you hear Ali drinking her water, <laughs> hit your notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Do you like meatloaf? Do you hate meatloaf? Meatloaf. Just meatloaf. Not the singer. Just, you know, this. I'm going to take a picture of this because it's it's just so good. I've got to get my, uh, my portrait mode on here. <laughs>